counter aspect of... Umzingeli belongs to a secret organization in Zimbabwe. Her mission is to wipe out corruption and crime across Africa. She tackles, you know, Somali pirates, corrupt ministers. Um, she, she fights warlords, uh, brings to justice uh, dictators, that kind of thing. Because um, we have a philosophy that the villains that we encounter in Africa are very different from the villains that you find in the Western world. We don't have notorious bank robbers or kingpins and that kind of thing. Our, our villains are of a different nature altogether. The comic books often tackle issues closer to home, such as the shortage of cash in Zimbabwe. People desperate for money sometimes queue outside banks for days. Comic book character The Gift knows exactly what Zimbabweans are going through. The Gift, Maxwell Musonza, also has to get money. And he also has to take his girlfriend out. So he's also going to have to wait in the queue and deal with a $20, $30 limit on his card. And he's going to discuss it and talk about it with the people in his world. So in that, the reader actually either gets to see that, no, I'm normal for thinking what I'm thinking or the issues I'm dealing with, or they read it and say, this isn't right. There aren't many females in the business. Tatenda Ndove is slowly learning the trade from young men. There is a time where we literally wish there was a superhero out there that can actually rescue us from some of the things that we face in life. And having that character can, you know, sort of boost someone's confidence saying, you know, if that can happen, maybe I can still be my own personal hero in life and, you know, manage to do something for someone or for myself. Comic books aren't big business in Zimbabwe and other parts of Africa. The team sell their stories online to clients in Asia, Europe and the US. If you, if you really look at the trends in Hollywood and whatnot, they're looking at Africa. They're looking at Africa because that's where the new stories are coming. We've got such unique, crazy, you know, situations which we deal with, which they, they have no idea. You know, such a lifestyle exists, so I think it's important. It's still considered an unconventional profession. Most parents here encourage their children to be doctors, lawyers, scientists and teachers. This is one alternative in a country where more than 90% of Zimbabweans don't have a job. These artists seem to be enjoying themselves, telling African stories to the rest of the world. Harumatasa, Al Jazeera, Harare.